after the Pacific, I had to go get a, a normal job. And me and my mate, yeah, we decided to get a sales job again on the sales. But we didn't know that it was door to door sales until we kind of went through the interview and everything else. And then they're like, okay, now you're going to start selling Australian power and gas to oh, yeah. uh, people, you know, you're walking the streets pretty much. And that is the most soul-destroying job I've ever done in my life. I thought acting was bad being rejected Oof. that much. This is like constant, like no, people yelling at you, doors getting slammed in your face. You're like why am I annoying people at the time they just get home from work? Yeah. Uh, and it's like I totally understood why. Were you selling a it, good product, right? or was it also a bad product? Oh, look, we'll give you seven percent off your bill. It's you know nothing to call yeah, right. home about. But if a lot of people didn't want to be put in a contract, and you're like, that's cool. If you don't want a contract, five percent. It's like, well, what's the point? Like, it, it's a weird job. <laughs> they actually made me a leader, so oh. I had to go to this whole like meeting and i'm like i'm about to shatter this guy i don't want to do this anymore yeah and he's he's expecting me to become like the next leader and have my own team or whatever else and then i just walked in one i started crying i'm like dude i can't do this i feel like i'm letting you down but i just can't do this anymore like Mm -hmm. my soul is destroyed um and that was it for me i think about a week after that uh, i started doing this demolition job and that was a bit better. That was just go in, do some work, go home. Yeah. Got paid better than no sales for a week, that's for sure. But I had made the decision that it had been about a year or six months or whatever it was, go home. I'm done with being down here. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, I'm missing out on all the fun from my family. I'm 19, 20. I think I was 20. I'm missing out on, you know, all the fun that all my friends from school and everyone was having and uh, family and I couldn't fly home mm. very often because obviously no money. And I was like, mom, I'm making the decision. I'm going to come home. And then my agent's like, look, you've got this neighbor's audition. Just go in and do that. I'm like, all right. So I went in and did this Kyle audition. And then I think it was like two days later, I was in the service station again. Just, I think I had $20 to my mm. name. Do I get the sausage roll or the pie? I'm like, I don't know what to get. And then I get a call from my agent. He's like, hey, mate, uh, do you want to be on Neighbours? I was like, well, yeah, that'd be great. And he's like, well, you got the job. You start Monday. I'm like, but it's it's Saturday. Not that quick a turnaround. I'm like, yeah. I was like, okay, oh, all right. Um, do you have a schedule? Do you have anything? <laughs> a like, script? Oh, this is crazy. But yeah, getting str- – I'm usually good at getting thrown into something – rather than having time to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, then I could just talk myself out of anything. But that was when I'm like, okay, maybe the universe is telling me this is what I should be doing because I was about to go home and just give it all up. It's amazing how many people have that story, actors who say mm. in that uh, they go, oh, look, I'm giving myself one last year and then I'm done. I'm going to move on to X, yeah. Y, or Z. And that year they just blow up. Um, it's crazy. I, it 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 was good because it was a guest role. Yeah. So it was enough for me to be like, okay, I'm getting a taste of it. But it didn't throw me where I was this 19, 20 year old just getting, you know, all this money and whatever else straight away because that would not have been good for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, right. I, 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 needed to, I needed to kind of fight for it a bit mm. harder. How frequent um, was the so guest really role? I really appreciate it. Oh, if, the first one was eight weeks. Then I don't think I came back for another month. And then after that, it might have been four months, five months, and then it might have been another two months. It was for two years yeah. I was a guest role. And so, yeah, it, it was always, I mean, I could have one episode here and then not be on for three months, but have two or three episodes. Yeah. So that's kind of. Kind of like now. Yeah. You know, I'm mean, so often just come back. Yeah, which is kind of good for you to get a little bit of money but don't feel like you're suddenly king of the world. Yeah, exactly. And, uh. Well, mate, still, even with that, um, every so often getting asked back, I couldn't get a full-time job because I knew that I'd have to come back. So I'd have to find random jobs in between and then that was paying for my rent and car and whatever mm. else. I'm like, it's, it's not enough. Were you mostly laboring and stuff through that? Yeah, I had – the good thing – 
um, tradie mates. Even when I moved to Melbourne, my mate was a sparky, but I got to win uh, for a few months here and there. Labouring work is the best because you get paid a decent amount. You're outside, you're working. You're not just, I guess, sitting in an office and getting fat, especially for this um, yeah. industry. It's good to you know, at the same time, you know. But I kind of like the sparky work more because all we did was a couple of What was it? The air cons was the worst. Yeah. Carpentry isn't too bad, but I've <laughs> most of the bosses I've had, they're quite aggressive. Right. So there was a lot of yelling involved and I had a hammer and whatever else. So I'm like, this is not what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when a hammer comes flying towards your head, you think you, you yeah. reconsider what you were I doing. That was, that was from. Like, <laughs> That had nothing to do with the country. It was just you were just, you know, sitting at no, home of course, being yeah. a little bit of a dickhead. Must have just said something wrong. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for watching this Tech Talks clip. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you want to see the full conversation, click here. If you want to see all of the Tech Talk clips, click here. And if you want to see all of the Tech Talk conversations, click here.